All right, so it's been about a month since I made a YouTube video and uh, I'm in my car. It's now spring here in, um, in Canada. So it's a little bit warmer. I can wear a muscle shirt outside on most days. It's getting a little bit warmer. Uh, I, I've been in school for the last uh, last month. I have three weeks left that I'm out of school. So uh, the workload has been a lot bigger than when I'm at work. Uh, when I'm at work, it's a lot easier to film because I just gotta, I gotta go to work. Then after my eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours at work, I'm, I'm done. I can go home. I don't gotta worry about studying or catching up on things I didn't understand. Uh, class is a little bit different. I gotta go home and I gotta study. So uh, that's why I haven't really been making YouTube videos is because I gotta, uh, studies. I just got. I got to study instead of uh, go home and make videos. I keep up with my Instagram and Twitter and OnlyFans, but as far as uh, YouTube goes, YouTube takes a lot more time and it's a lot more elaborate. You gotta, you gotta go out. You gotta film the video. You gotta go through all the stuff. You gotta edit it all and put it together and throw it up. So it's a lot harder. Um, this is filmed on my phone here, so hopefully the video and audio is quality. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be like. Hopefully it's good enough for you guys. I just want to make a little update about what's going on in my life. Um, so that's why I haven't really uploaded many YouTube videos. As far as uh, when I'm done in three weeks, I do want to make more videos, but a lot of requests for just general life updates and what's going on. So I'm gonna use this to talk about my fitness journey and where I started because a lot of people want to work fitness, a lot of people want workout videos, and a lot of people want like nutrition and advice. Uh, I didn't go to school for anything like like that the nutritionist a personal trainer nothing i'm just talking from personal experience so everything i say is what worked for me it might not work for you everyone's completely different but this is something you can try well this is this can be my fitness journey so maybe that'll be another video but this is something this is how i developed okay so this is a little bit of my past what i was and why i feel like i'm qualified to share this information so i am 22 now my birthday was november 7th so i was born november 7th 1996 um, uh, I started working out when I was 18, like seriously working out when I was 18. Uh, in high school, I was about 130, 140 pounds. So I was your average kid and I didn't do any athletics, nothing like that. I was just, I'd go to the gym once in a while, just mess around with friends. That's about it. But, uh, as far as I'll roll that over here. But as far as it goes for me doing athletics in high school, nothing really. I was just what I was. I'd eat once a day. I would uh, wake up, go to school, skip lunch. I didn't bring a lunch or anything and I didn't have money for lunch uh, or I didn't like get lunch money from my parents or anything. I wasn't working in high school. So I just went all day and then when I got home, I ate whatever my parents made at uh, for dinner. So it, I didn't have the nutrition to really gain muscle or anything regardless of if I worked out. Uh, once I graduated, I, uh, I was still 17 when I graduated and uh, I had to wait until November, so I went the whole summer, and then November I turned 18, and here in Canada, I live in Alberta, uh, oil is a big part of our economy, so I went up north to work that winter, and uh, up north, you, it's, uh, it was about four hours, in Fort McMurray, so it was four hours away from where I lived, so I would uh, take a plane up there, and my rotation was two weeks on, one week off, so I'd stay up there in a camp, and it was just in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the woods, kind of with a bunch of people that were building a we were building a refinery at the time. So pretty much what happened is, uh, I turned 18. I applied for a bunch of jobs, and I went up there to start working. I got a job, went up there, start working. Uh, so two weeks on, one week off means you would stay in the camp, sleep there. You would work your 12, 14 hour days, and then you would go to camp. You would get all your meals were provided everything was provided for you, your stay your meals everything so you just stay up there and work and you would come home with a big paycheck uh so what's there to do at camp um everyone there was there was a bunch of big guys so that's when i started working out there there was nothing to do there was a gym there and every night i would get there i'd eat my uh i'd eat my dinner and then i'd go and work out with everyone so that's when i really started working out i believe when i did when i went up there i was like between 130 140 pounds and uh, I think my first three weeks, cause I stayed a little bit longer up there. My first three weeks up there, I gained damn near 20 to 25 pounds. I put on just from eating ever like constantly with all the guys, lunch, I was eating dinner, breakfast, lunch, big, good meals. They were like all home cooked meals. It was a really good like catering that was at the camp. So I, I got the proper nutrition. I worked out really hard with a bunch of big guys. 
and that's when I first started like learning about working out as guys up there so I was up until then I was nothing so fast forward I was working out in Fort McMurray all all uh all winter it was quite a few months I was up there uh, off and on I'd fly home fly out there fly back uh when winter came no when summer came because I was working there all winter when spring summer came uh I got laid off so the project was done anyway so they're sending everyone home so uh everyone got kind of laid off and they're slowly letting people go so I I left I came back and that's when I started working out in Edmonton that's when I really started gaining weight I was uh I was then I was, then I was operating heavy equipment for a company for a year and a half but that summer up until winter that whole 10 that whole 10 months of when I when I graduated and I then I turned 18 I went out to and started working out I think it was it was like 8 to 10 months I went from 130 140 pounds to 230 pounds is when I peak my peak weight 230 pounds and I wasn't all muscle. I wasn't super ripped. I was just eating everything in sight. I was at that point. I was uh, looking at a BMI, which I don't recommend looking at a BMI, body mass index. I was considered obese for my height, and I did. I was. I looked like I was. I had a lot of weight on me, not muscle weight, but I was. I was fat. So uh, I did that, and I was around yeah two thirty, two thirty five. I have pictures. And I was like, yeah, this is enough. Um, I, I would get winded going upstairs. I'd always be sweating constantly. My face was super, my face is still baby face, but it was like a chubby baby face and I hated it. So uh, I built up a lot of muscle doing a bulk like that and working out constant, but, um, but it was time to kind of shed the weight. So I didn't want to lose all the muscle I gained while I was working out. So I slowly cut and my plan was to cut a few pounds every month, uh, slowly start cutting down because because when I was gaining weight, I needed to, going from 130, 140 pounds, my metabolism was really, really fast. So uh, I was eating chocolate bars and every every piece of junk food in sight just to get my calories for the day. It was, I was eating until I was sick. So, uh, so after eating like that, my body got used to it. And when I had to cut the weight, it was hard. Uh, the first, when I went down, I went from 230 pounds to about 210. Uh, in a few months because it was pretty easy a lot of it is water weight and stuff like that like how much you retain with the salt you eat so that was pretty easy to cut uh, I kept most of my strength you're gonna lose uh, some strength with the uh, with the weight loss but I kept the size like I'd measure my like I'd measure my arms I'd measure my legs my traps are my traps are junk uh, chest everything I'd keep measurements so I know I wasn't really losing that much muscle maybe a layer of fat was going down a little bit but the strength almost stayed there 100% and the size stayed there so that's what I really cared about so after all that I uh, cut down and then a new gym opened up and I swapped gyms and then I kept cutting down and slowly cut down until I got about 205 200 to 205 pounds I was floating within but I was still like addicted to eating food I is I ate food for that one year straight just like crazy everything I wanted anything I wanted I'd eat it I'd work out really hard to gain the weight because I needed to do it and now it was time to cut it and it was really hard to stop eating and that's where everyone gets stuck for weight loss and uh, that's why I feel like I'm a little bit uh, qualified to talk about this because I've been at the low end of the scale where I was it was hard to gain weight I was eating till I was sick and then I was at the I was considered obese where I had to start cut like I had to I was obese so I had to start eating less and everything it was really hard to stop like stop eating because I was so used to it my body wanted it and I felt like shit if I didn't eat it so I was able to cut to about yeah two, 205 200 pounds and then I was stagnant I was still I was making gains my 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 uh, strength was going up my body kind of slowly improved I was working on little things like when I was bulking my shoulders were really small they are still pretty small but I worked on that uh, worked on my legs a lot so I was still making gains where I needed it but there wasn't much change um, until about I think it's been over half a year now but half a year ago I started fasting and uh, so fasting I was inter intermittent fasting so I would fast for about 20 about 20 hours out of the day somewhere in there and then I would have a few hour eating window where I'd eat whatever I wanted I'd get my proteins in and get my fats in I would try to stay away from carbs because I started doing keto and fasting at the same time but I would do that so I would cut out my um I'd cut out cut out carbs and cut out uh like low on fats but I still needed fats for energy that was when I was in keto and then my protein I needed my protein I needed my calories so uh, most of the calories came from fats 
And then I decided after a few weeks, I didn't want to do keto because keto is really hard and I was losing tons of weight. I think I, I dropped within that, uh, I, I did a keto for a few weeks, but within that few weeks of keto, I was down to probably like 175 pounds. I shed it. A lot of it water weight on top of that. I was taking creatine, so I was retaining a lot of water. Uh, everything I was eating was still high in salt. So I was still retaining a lot of water. But after fasting for a day, before I ate, I'd weigh myself and I was about 175, but I was, I was looking good, but I was, my strength wasn't there. It takes a while, it takes a while for your body to adjust from using carbs as energy to using fats as energy when you start. So if you start fasting, you'll, uh, your energy will be really low for a few weeks up until your body gets used to it, working out fasted. Um, so I did that and I made it down to about 170, probably 170, 175 I was sitting at. And that's, that was really small after being 230 for a while. Uh, it took a while to get used to. Uh, not eating all day after eating all day, but it's kind of reward over risk, right? You got, I like I like pushing my body. I like trying diets. Uh, so I made it down to 175. I look good. I made some videos. They're on my Instagram and stuff. I believe I look pretty good, but my strength was down and I didn't feel good all the time. I like enjoying foods. So currently, this is up until now. So I'm about, I'm about 180, 185, 185 on a full stomach. So I like being this weight. I'm, I look pretty pretty decent. Any bigger, I would start to look kind of weird. Uh, but I, I feel good. My strength is there. I can slowly improve. Um, I fast certain days. I fast like every second day I, I swap. So one day I won't eat and I'll eat one big meal. Uh, and then other days I'll eat whatever I want just to keep my calories up. So it's kind of like a, I'm in between a kind of like maintenance and bulk right now. Um, I feel like I'm talking a lot with my hands here and some people some people don't like that But yeah, that's a little bit about my journey. I went from 140 to 230 240 in a matter of a year So I've been at the low end of the spectrum. I've been at the high end of the spectrum I know what it's like to to be a hard gainer and I'm a hard loser. It took me a long time I had to change my diet to lose the weight <clears throat> and it's a diet isn't something you're gonna start and then you're gonna like a diet needs to be a part of your life. You can't just call it a diet. It's just, it's a lifestyle change at that point. And that's what you got to do. It's, I believe it's all in the diet. Um, uh, I will talk. I want to make another video talking about nutrition and workouts and what I do. But as far as right now goes, that's, that's my fitness journey. That's, that's what it's all about. That's where I started. Um, I mentioned my weight. I mentioned my height. I mentioned what I did. Um, I'll mention workouts in another video if you guys want more videos like this where it's just me talking about stuff. Uh, if you guys want kind of like a video of what my body looks like now, uh, request it in the comments. I can I can upload a video of, of my body and kind of like what condition it's in right now, what I like, what I don't like, what I need to improve on. Uh, I just need you guys to go in the comments and tell me what you want to see. But that was my fitness journey. Um, that's why I feel like I'm more than qualified to talk on this. I'm not, I didn't go to, I didn't go sit in some class and just read about it and stuff. I was literally, I did the hundred pound gain, dropping weight, eating till I was sick, fasting. I've done it. I've tried it all and I enjoy pushing my body and I feel like everyone, not every diet's going to work for everyone, but there's going to be something out there that you, you like, and is going to work for you. So, uh, if you want more videos like this that are not so elaborate, just me talking, it's a lot easier for me to do. I don't got to get the big camera out. It's just my phone. And I think all of you will, oh, my nails are getting long. That's, that's, that's nasty. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this. Uh, hopefully this comes out good. It's in my vehicle. I don't know if it's loud, but uh, it's a little video of my fitness journey. Uh, if I missed anything, please comment. I'm, I'll make another video like this talking about, talking about things I missed about fitness and I'll, uh, I'll put it in and stuff, but this was really easy to make. And I feel, uh, a lot of you requested to just have little updates about my life on YouTube instead of big elaborate videos. Cause it becomes, I become a little bit more pers personal, 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 whatever it is where you can like relate to the person and see what they're actually like. So, uh, yeah, anyways, Instagram, you know, you know, Instagram, Twitter, everything is at Jacobs. Those are my only accounts. J A K I P Z Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. Oh, I got my eyes a little, oh, my eyes a little messed up there. But yeah, that's everything. Please follow me on all those. I'm just a regular guy. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Remember com like, and subscribe. Uh, if you liked the video, if you enjoyed just me hanging out, talking, it might be boring for some of you. Some of you might like it, but, uh, like, subscribe, comment, leave a comment what you want to see. I'm more than open to recommendations or anything. Even send me a message. Uh, so, yeah. 
see you guys hope you guys enjoyed this